divided by 2 is equal to 5 over x, like so. So, what's going to happen on the back is that we're trying to find out what x is, so then we'll multiply both sides by x, and I'll get x squared over 2 is equal to 5. What am I having to do after this? What I want you guys to have a go at now, I've done the first example, can we have a go at the second example of you got? I'm going to give you two minutes. we can stretch it as far as we can. Something like geometric sequences is a box standard grade seven topic, but now we're pushing it to a grade nine where we are involving things like algebra to it. So let's have a look at the second box. I will show you step by step where the gradings are and what kind of skills are embedded to make it a grade nine. So that is my first step. And so it's cross multiplying it, that's the skill. What kind of topic does that in encompass now? And we know that with algebraic fractions, that is a grade seven skill within that step. So we have questions that are grade seven on its own, like that, like what Andrea said, where we are cross multiplying, but we've got that within a step of a grade nine topic. Right, so let's solve it then. Because what I want you guys to have a go at now is to solve this. So I'm going to give you three minutes of your going inside this. So I posed another question. It's not necessarily a gradient one, but I posed the question of how do how do you know that you've got this hundred percent correct in the assessment? How will you know? How else could we ensure that these two were correct? What could you essentially do? First algebraic fraction, not quite, not there yet, hands down. I know some of you have said, why don't we check back in here? Yes, you will know that you've got the quadratic equation correct. Checking it back up here, you know that you've set it up, the algebraic fractions correctly as well, absolutely fine. But to know for sure, put it back into your geometric progression and um, you'll know for sure that the common ratios are the same. Another point that I want to make, there's another grade eight topic that we have covered, which is um, equations of ex exponential functions. What can't we do here? And what can't we do in the circle bit? Thinking time. Turn and talk. <laughs> Two, one, back in slant. Right. Mahim or James, what did you discuss? 